I want you to batten down your hatches, drop your anchor, and get ready for the moorings. We're ready now to pipe right in from you, right in from Hollywood, one of Hollywood's answer to the steam catapult next to Pepsi-Cola. She's America's favorite liquid refreshment. <laughs> Here she is, the very glamorous, the very exciting, very talented Esther Williams. Come on, say hi. Dig this crazy superstructure. <laughs> when I count three, all eyeballs. Back in your head, please. I want to tell you, it's great, Esther. It's really great to have you here tonight. I really Oh, mean... it's wonderful being here, Milton. Yeah? And you know, I really must compliment the sailors. Yeah? You know that when I came aboard today, there wasn't one whistle. Wasn't one whistle? No. <laughs> How can they whistle with their tongues hanging out? <laughs> But Esther, let me look at you. What? Absolutely. Doesn't she look beautiful? Absolutely. You're absolutely breathtaking. Oh, thank you for building me up, Ned. <laughs> I didn't. You come in with me. Now, this uh... one. <laughs> she looked gorgeous, huh? You look absolutely gorgeous, except for one thing. What's that? I mean, I mean, how come no bathing suit? I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh... Esther Williams without a bathing suit. That's like, a, it's like strawberry shortcake with the whipped cream on the inside. <laughs> I'm disappointed, absolutely. Well, Milton, I am through with bathing suits. What There's you... another side to me. <laughs> yeah, but without a suit, who can tell? Now, this... <laughs> I mean, don't worry, fellas. If I know Esther, she'll be back in a bathing suit sooner or later. And Esther, isn't this really a handsome group of men, huh? Oh, they certainly are. Uh, Esther, how would you say that... Uh, how would you say that I compare with them? Milton, your generation had charm. <laughs> I mean, like that, she threw me a curve, and she certainly could spare it. This, uh, incidentally, Esther, have you met any of these fine gentlemen no, yet? Oh, yes, I have. Yeah. And you know, one of them was even kind enough to show me around the carriage. He showed you around the carriage? Yes, I think he was the chief petting officer. <laughs> no, let me get... It's not petting... <laughs> not petting, it's petty. I was with him, not you. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, these Navy men are famous for their maneuvers. I, uh, you can ask any girl, I mean. <laughs> no, but really, it was a wonderful trip, Milton. Really? He took me all around the boat, and he took me below deck to show me the hole. He showed you the hole, huh? <laughs> you have any trouble breaking? No. <laughs> I was, oh, oh, these are real gentlemen. Where else did he take you, Esther? Well, he took me up on the bridge. Up on the bridge, mm -hmm. yeah. And he even let me steer the ship. Oh, that's Ooh. right. Yes, I know. First time in the history that an aircraft carrier from in third at Caliente. <laughs> Should have never made that left turn at the free bridge, I want to tell you something. No, yeah. you must be third. I am. I'm terribly, terribly impressed with this carrier. Really? I am. Really? Yes. I want to give you some statistics. What? Did you know that the USS Hancock... It's 898 feet long, yeah. 103 feet across the beam, and it took 41,000 tons of material to put it together. Really? Who made it? Jackie Gleason's tailor? <laughs> but, but you're right. Now, I'm sure you're right. Uh, Esther, the U.S. Hancock is really like a floating city. Mm -hmm. Really a floating city. They've got a post office, stores, everything a man would want when he's all alone at sea for six months. <laughs> expressed by Mr. Burl are entirely his own and do not reflect the opinion of this carrier. <laughs> oh, I know. You mean girls, huh? Yes, girls. Well, uh, these men, they, they don't miss girls. You know the old saying. <laughs> you know the old I mean, out of sight, out of mind. That's the way it is with these guys. When the girls are out of sight, they go out of their mind. <laughs> really, they do, really. Ah, uh, well, it wouldn't be that way if this ship were made a little more attractive. What do you mean, You know attractive? what it needs? What? It needs a woman's touch. Yes. A woman's touch? Mm hmm yeah, I don't dig it. What touch. do you mean? What do you mean? Well, look at this flight deck. Look yeah. at it. Yeah. Just bare boards. You know what they need here? What? They need wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. <laughs> Isn't that just jazzy? Wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. It'd be a good idea. Then we'll bruise their knees when they shoot and crack. This, uh... <laughs> Anything else you think this would yes, need? Yes, yes, I do. What? I think the mess hall is just a mess. <laughs> yes, I do. I think 
think what the mask color needs is to be painted a, a nice soft color. Yeah. Nice pale green. Good. Mm -hmm. That's it. Green. Pale yeah. green. Then it'll match their faces when they're through eating. <laughs> Really, I mean, I like that. I like that. But and what else do did they have? Well, those sleeping quarters. What's the matter with them? Ah, uh, they have absolutely no privacy. No? These men, these poor men, no privacy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I would do? What would you do? I would put Venetian blinds on all the portholes. Well, that'll keep those nosy barracudas from peeking in. <laughs> what, what's next? Anything else? Well, look at the superstructure. Beautiful, I think. No, it is I not. I think it's bad. So it's a dull, dull gray. A dull gray? Well, how about putting the chartreuse lip cover over it? I... <laughs> now, I, Esther, I must admit that you got some pretty sensational ideas in they're original. You like my Yes, ideas? I do. Who do you think I should talk to about them? I think you should go to the ship psychiatrist. I think you flapped your bathing cap. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Esther. Look, why don't we leave the Hancock the way it is? I mean, after all... Yeah, it holds so many wonderful and exciting memories for these men. Oh, I really mean that. You can beat the memories of Navy men. You can beat the memories of Navy men. Take one leave in any port. You can beat the memories of Navy men. Take one sailor at a quart. You can beat the memories of Navy men. One big SP. One brig KP. <laughs> Memories are made of it. You can't beat the memories of Navy men. Take one pair of tight blue pants. You can't beat the memories of Navy men. And then add some yearning for romance. You can't beat the memories of Navy men. One day on shore. His pay no more. <laughs> memories are made of it. You can't beat the nautical life no One thing in Tokyo. One gob who's broke you. One geisha girl with some nylon. One big Hawaiian moon. One hula girl and soon. One little sailor boy with a smile on. Take one pound of powdered egg. You can't beat the memories of Navy men. Then you add salt pork and turkey legs. You can't beat the memories of Navy men. One gale, wave rise. One rail. Twelve guys. <laughs> Navy life is joy and bliss. <laughs> with memories like this. Esther Williams. Esther, come on. Take him out. She'll be back. She'll be back. Bring out Esther Williams. All right. Esther, darling, come on out here. Come on out here, Esther. Yeah. I told you she'd be out here in the bed suit. Now, Esther, darling, I know that you do anything for your country, but this may be asking too much. This is the sailor that won you for a date tonight. Well, I'm very happy to know you. So am I. <laughs> Well, if you're ready, Miss Withers, yes. let's slip off to the silvery sands of Coronado, where we can contemplate the cloud formations and hark to the symphony of the waves as they murmur against the shore. Oh, that sounds wonderful. What will we do after that? Then we'll get loaded. Uh, shut up! <laughs> Pardon me, will you, Francis? Francis, you can't talk like that. She's a big movie star, and movie stars are not used to being talked like that. You understand? You're very rude, and... Once and for all, I want to tell you, you don't talk that way to me because me, I am a great, great, big movie star. Oh, chip, 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 chip. <laughs> big movie star. Yes, I am a movie star. thinks he's a movie star. Yes, I am. Out in Hollywood, I'm just waiting to get into the right vehicle. You shouldn't get into one. You should get hit by one. I was... <laughs> you... Pardon me, Esther. You make me so mad. I'm telling you, every time I talk to you, my heart beats like a hammer and I shake like a leaf. What's with you? Maybe you're in love with me and you don't know it. <laughs> Now, look, Francis, watch yourself. Will you watch yourself? You're kidding. What do you mean? You must be kidding. She stands here in the bathing suit and you tell me to watch myself? <laughs> oh, I can't do it. Well, well, now, look. Come here. Come yeah. here just a minute. Yeah, talk to I'm me. scolding. You're so cute and you're so adorable. Yeah. You remind me of a miniature Rock Hudson. Yeah, I'd like to tie a rock around his neck and throw him in the Hudson. <laughs> now, look. 
Ask it. If you want a good-looking movie star type, I've often been referred to as another tab hunter. Sure, when it comes time to pick up the tab, they're going to hunt for you. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Horning on my I'm day? Not I won the contest, not you. Is he? It's true. Milton, it's true. He won me fair and square, right. and I'm going out with him. Yeah. Let's tell them, or we'll really live it up, huh? All right. Huh? We'll go to Mexico. Let's do it. Mexico? Take me with you, huh? You're kidding. Boy. Don't you know you can't smuggle dope across the border? Please, Esther, you really going out with it? Why don't you get, go out with them when they get through building them? Now, Milton, Why? you've got to stop scolding this sweet That's boy. That's right. I think he's absolutely adorable. Uh, you know something? Good things come in small packages. Some of the most famous lovers of history were small men. Yeah. Short men. I just love short men. Remember me, Toulouse Latre? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You intrigue me. Yeah. Tell me all about your hopes and your dreams. And what do you do for excitement on the ship? Oh, the usual things. Backgammon, badminton, shuffleboard. I... <laughs> Shuffle broad, shuffle board. You shuffle with you one, and I'll shuffle with another. Are you ready? What? What? Are you ready now? Yes, I'm ready. Now wait a minute, just a minute. Now just let, let me uh, straighten one thing out. Miss Williams has on a bathing suit. You want to pull the dignity of the Navy? You have on a sailor suit. Now you cannot walk down the street. You can't go to Mexico with Miss Williams in a bathing suit and you in a sailor suit. Now what are you going to do about it? What are you going to well, do? I'll just do this about it. That's it. <laughs> in charge here. This is the Navy Seaman Smith. Swap down the deck, the length and width. Jump to my bunk, scrub my back. To enlist as a wave is really the chance of a lifetime. If I had another chance, I would probably do it again. For the last two weeks, I have done enough work for a lifetime. I shudder at the thought of continually doing it for ten. How we march and we march in the Navy. Every day on parade is a joy. It's a joy. And we still fully drill in the Navy. We're a boy and the door. Skirt the high. Skirt the high. How we work and we work in the Navy. On the line. Every chore in the Navy. If you don't, you'll be left high and dry. High and dry. Get the soap, get the water, get the mop, get the water, get the pail, get the water. Never stop with the water. Get the back. We're a wreck with the water. It's all we do the whole day through. How we march and we drill in the Navy. We might see the sights that we crave, that we crave, but we still get thrill in the Navy. Though we march and we work and we march and we work and we play. Dependency on a date, she's 
would wait to be kissed. But each romp never prompted the tendency. So the way fell to say so and left. We get up with the water, then we drip with the water, start the day. 